Hello traders, this is Rich Derrick from TradeSite. wanted to uh, do a video and talk about how to get more than one symbol for a particular security on a chart. So what we want to do is we want to use uh, the eSignal platform to, to analyze multiple securities on the same chart. This is going to be the second of an installment of uh, educational videos on how to better use eSignal. So first thing I want to do is I've just opened up a simple simple uh, bar chart which is the default here but I'm going to right click on the chart I'm going to change this to a line chart okay now I've just changed this to a line chart to uh, make this a little bit easier to see so what I have right now is a uh, just a simple chart in the daily time frame of the S&P cash a lot of times you want to analyze more than one issue at the same time so let's let's say we want to analyze the S&P which is the broad market versus let's say the NASDAQ so to get a second symbol on the chart what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on a chart again and we're gonna go down here to insert symbol that's gonna create a second pop-up box now in this pop-up box I'm gonna use the NDX that's already loaded here NDX okay I'm gonna use a line chart there's, there are other options as well, but for this purpose I'm going to use the line chart, which is typically the way I do my analysis. And then I'm going to hit insert. Close the box. What you can see here is now I still have the, uh, the S&P up above here, but now I've got the NDX as well. And you can see that uh, throughout this year, here's the beginning of 2013, the NDX is relatively flat and is actually pretty much where it, where it opened here on the ND, on the uh, broad market side with the S, SPX the S&P cash index you can see we're, we're quite a bit higher so there's definitely a difference in the performance there this is great to analyze uh, a couple of stocks versus one another or you can analyze a stock against an index which is a very popular uh, technical analysis tool so let's take a look at that now so to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the NDX alone here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to my top chart here. I'm just going to type in, let's say, uh, let's see what Google's been doing. So here's a look at Google versus the NDX, which is its primary benchmark. You can see that Google's been performing better than the benchmark and has been actually been outperforming it. And you can you can put any any uh, other symbol you want in here. Take a look at Apple. You can see the performance of Apple versus the NDX has been very, very different. One of the other things you can do is you can also merge the uh, separate windows into one window, which can be useful for different things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my, uh, go to Edit Chart, get the pop-up here. It's going to open up a new window. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my NDX chart. I'm just, going to, I'm just going to change the color on this just to make it a little bit easier to read once we merge them. So I'm going to change the color. Let's just say to red. I'm going to close this. So all I've done is I just manipulated the chart and changed the color of the NDX benchmark here. So what I'm going to do now is let's take a look at uh, NDX versus Apple. But I've, if I want to see a little more detail, one of the options I have is I can click on the NDX symbol over here drag it up to the top chart and then release the left click what that's going to do is it's gonna merge the two charts into one and you can see that there was a real disconnection right around the end of 2000 and 2012 with NDX started to perform better but Apple really start, start, started to diverge and show relative weakness versus this big benchmark this is definitely one of the tools that allow the intermarket analysis used when they're trying to see maybe how the broad market is doing versus one of the internal measurements, how gold's doing versus oil. There's a lot of different ways to apply this, and, and hopefully this will be another strategy for you to enhance your trading and make yourself more profitable. Well, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a uh, reply below. Uh, this will be uh, an ongoing uh, segment we'll, where we'll, we'll be talking about different, uh, different strategies 
on how to better use the eSignal platform. And if you would like me to cover anything in particular, just uh, just leave a just leave a comment below. So thanks for listening, and this has been Rich Derek for TradeSite.